with the face made for radio, the voice made for writing, the writing style of a preschooler, and magic tricks so horrible, Teller spoke out against them. It's your host, Ellis. That's right, I'm Ellis, and this is the House of Ellis Projects and Tutorials channel. So I was wondering, what could I do with these mics? The first thought that came to mind was to run down to Demolition Ranch and see if Matt wanted to load them up into some shells and see how well they would shoot. Then I remembered that his name was on a list of people that I had to stay a thousand feet from. With that out of the question, I had to come up with another idea. My thought train jumped tracks and I figured I would attempt to make a shotgun microphone from one of them. So place your bets down below in the comments section on if this is going to work out or not. Okay, now that I gave you some time to do that, let's head on over to the desk. Things that we're going to need for this project are a 99 cent mic, a tube of some sort. I have here a pen, some sort of cutting utensil. I have here a drill master rotary tool with a metal cutting blade thingy, some helping hands so we don't burn ourselves, a soldering iron, some solder. We might need a solder sucker just in case. Some tape. Uh, this will just be used to hold down the uh, tube. And finally, some safety glasses, because safety. First thing that we're going to have to do is tear apart this pen, so let me go ahead and do that now. Okay, with that torn apart, let's go ahead and put that to the side. Okay, next step, we need to uh, get this mic taken apart. Go ahead and take it off with my fingers there. Go ahead and place the mic capsule on the alligator clips here. Flip it up so we can have a good view of that. Then I'm going to heat up my uh, soldering iron so I can desolder this. With it up to temperature, let me go ahead and tin my tip here. I'm going to go ahead and desolder this. Okay, with the wire desoldered, we can go ahead and get that knot out of there. And remove the the shell. Alright, so that has been desoldered, removed, and now we can go on to the next step. Okay, with the microphone element removed, let's go ahead and see if it'll fit right into the tube itself. Looks like it may be a little snug. We'll go ahead and uh, remove this outer rubber piece that's around the element itself. I'm just pushing it out. So with the uh, rubber piece removed, let's see how well it fits now. So yeah, that fits too loosely. We'll have to come up with a way to take care of that later. Let's just go ahead and go on to the next step. So we got the rotary tool here, so we're going to make some slots along the tube on both sides. I'm just going to go ahead and freehand this, no measurements, just do it willy-nilly. So let me do that now. Don't forget, protection. And also tape this down too. With the tape down, let me go ahead and uh, cut some slots. So with the slots done on one side, we're going to flip it over and try to match the slots on the other side. Okay, with a wonderful cutting job here, I guess I need to do a real quick cleanup and then we'll go on to the next step. Okay, with the surface pretty much cleaned off here, so let's tackle the wiring. Uh, pretty much, a, it's a colored uh, enamel, it looks like, probably. So I don't think we have to worry about stripping it back any more than we need to. So we'll leave it as is. So let's get our tube back and figure out which way we want the front of it to be. 
Okay, I am going to say this is going to be our front. Or actually, let's make that our back and let's make our, this our front. You might have to clean out your pen after doing all those slots. Go ahead and feed the cable through. Now that we have our cable through the tube, let's go ahead and get our helping hands back here. Get our mic element. And there is a positive marking on here, so that's where our copper colored wire will go. So back to heating our soldering iron. We'll go ahead and solder positive on first. Okay, with that done, probably want to check to see if this still works. Okay, I got I got another phone here, so I'm gonna test that out. Another Android phone. So we're testing it right up on the mic. Test, test, test. One, two, one, two. So we're testing it right up on the mic. Test, test, test. One, two, one, two. Okay, now that we know that it, that it actually works, let's go ahead and pull in another tool that I forgot to mention. We are going to use a hot glue gun just to make sure that these connections don't come flying apart. Okay, with the hot glue gun heated up, let's go ahead and glue her down. Okay, with the hot glue cooled down, let's go ahead and uh, slide it back down into the uh, pipe here. You might need some help to do this. We'll just take the ink part of the pen and just push the mic back. I'm just going to push it to about halfway. Okay, with it in position, let's go ahead and just hot glue it in place. Okay, with that done, let's go ahead and go back over to the other desk. Okay, with the mic complete, you can see that I'm holding it about a foot away from my mouth. And let's go ahead and do some tests. I'm going to go ahead and spin it around. Spinning, spinning, spinning. I'm on the side, heading towards the back. And still spinning. Now I'm directly on the back of the mic. And spinning back to the other side. And spinning, spinning, spinning. And we're back to the front. Let's go ahead and bring it up closer. Are we getting that wonderful proximity effect? And let's go ahead and do a spin test on that too. Spinning, 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 spinning. Uh, we're on the side. Spinning towards the back. Directly talking towards the back of the mic. And spinning again. Spinning, 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 spinning. And we're back to the front. So how does this sound? With the project completed and the test done, you can tell that we did not achieve the results that we were after. I was testing out to see if I can come up with a project and film it on the fly without much planning. That was a fail too. So in the future, I will plan these projects out better. Also, I think doing the projects beforehand will help out since I'll figure out the gotchas. So to wrap this up, I'm learning how to plan projects, use what equipment I have, shoot and edit video, and also push myself to do things that were outside of my realm of comfort. So until next time, go out and do something. Even if it fails, success lies in the fact that you might have learned something.